What the hell? Be poor? This thing must be a joke. There's no way I can be poor. I have to tell Sadie about this. Girl. Hey girl. Something weird happened. What happened? I received something that said I have to be poor, but that's not happening. Right. You can't be poor. What would you do without your credit card? Exactly. But that's definitely a joke so. So I checked it out, and it turns out it was just a spam email, trying to scam people. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried for a second there. Scammers can be so sneaky these days. Yeah, it's crazy how they come up with all these tricks to try and deceive us. We always have to stay vigilant. Absolutely. We can't let ourselves fall victim to their schemes. So, what did you do with the email? Well, I immediately marked it as spam and deleted it. I didn't want to take any chances. It's better to be safe than sorry, right? Definitely. You made the right call. It's better to trust your instincts and not engage with suspicious emails or messages. Exactly. I've heard so many stories of people getting scammed and losing their hard-earned money. I don't want to be one of them. That's smart thinking, Janice. We have to protect ourselves and our finances. By being cautious and skeptical, we can avoid falling into those traps. For sure. It's also a good idea to spread the word and educate others about these scams. The more aware people are, the less likely they'll be fooled by these criminals. Absolutely. Awareness is key. We should encourage our friends and family to stay vigilant and share any suspicious messages they come across. Definitely. We can even share tips on how to spot and report scams. Together, we can create a safer online environment for everyone. I love that idea. Let's start by sharing some information on our social media profiles. It may seem small, but every bit helps. That's a great plan, Sadie. We'll be doing our part to fight against these scammers and protect ourselves and others. Together, we can make a difference. Absolutely, Janice. We've got this. And remember, if you ever receive any more suspicious emails, you can always reach out to me for advice or support. Thank you, Sadie. I really appreciate that. It's reassuring to know that I have a friend like you who's got my back. Of course, Janice. Friends stick together through thick and thin. We'll navigate through these tricky online waters together. Thank you, Sadie. You're the best. Let's stay alert and keep each other safe. I want to go to LV. Me too, girly. Let's go. After two hours. I so love these clothes. I can't wait to wear them to school. Time to pay. What? Let me try again. I'll pay. A few minutes later. That was so embarrassing. How did your card decline? I don't know. It's a debit card. You better fix that. Yeah, I can't live like this. I have to tell my dad. Yeah, maybe he did something to it. At home. Dad, where are you? I'm here. Good, we need to talk. What did you do to my credit card? I canceled it. What? Why would you do that? We're having problems with the company right now. I can't afford to give you a credit card that spends more than $2,000 a day. I need it, Dad. No, you don't. You have an entire room full of clothes and so much stuff. You don't need anything else. Yes, I do, Dad. You can't do this to me. What would I do without money? You can sell some of your stuff. That's not happening. Okay, then you do you. But you're not getting money from me. That's so unfair. It isn't. You're 18, and you've never worked for a single penny in your entire life. It's time for you to get a job. Me? Work? I'm rich. I don't need to work. Wrong. 
You're not rich. I am. You have everything you want thanks to all my efforts. Dad, I understand that you've provided for me all these years, and I appreciate it. But taking away my financial support without any discussion or warning feels like a betrayal. Janice, it's not a betrayal. It's a necessary step for you to learn and grow. I want you to become independent and understand the value of hard work and money. But Dad, I've always been responsible with my spending. I've never taken advantage of your support. I know you've been responsible, but it's not just about that. It's about developing a work ethic and being self-sufficient. It's an important life lesson. I never asked for this lesson, Dad. I had dreams and aspirations that I wanted to pursue without worrying about finances. Janice, life is not always about having everything handed to you. It's about facing challenges, working hard, and achieving your dreams through your own efforts. But it's so overwhelming, Dad. I don't even know where to start. What kind of job should I look for? Start by exploring your interests and skills. Look for part-time jobs, internships, or entry-level positions that align with your passions. It's a chance to discover what you truly enjoy and gain valuable experience along the way. But what about my education? Won't working distract me from my studies? Balancing work and studies can be challenging, but many people have managed to do it successfully. It's all about time management and prioritizing your goals. Remember, education is essential, but real-world experience is equally important. Ugh, I hate you, Dad. I hope this works. I'm not going to stay here. Wait, is that thing from earlier actually real? Ugh, no. It can't be. I'm going to Sadie. At Sadie. The worst thing ever just happened. What happened? My dad canceled my credit card. What? You're poor. I can't buy clothes anymore. Yeah, and also, we can't be friends if you don't have money. What? Why? Because you don't have money anymore. I know you understand. You would do the same if I was the one without money. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't stop being your friend if you didn't have any money. Well, sorry, but I can't be seen with you. It's going to be so embarrassing when everyone finds out. So please leave. Sadie, I can't believe you're saying this. I always thought our friendship was deeper than material things. I thought you cared about me as a person, not just for what I have or don't have. Look, Janice, I don't mean to be harsh, but I can't deny that this situation is going to affect my reputation. People will judge me based on who I associate with, and I can't risk that. So, our friendship was just for show? You're willing to throw it away because of what others might think? It's not just about what others think, Janice. It's about maintaining the image I've worked so hard to build. I can't afford to be seen with someone who doesn't fit in anymore. Well, Sadie, if that's how you truly feel, then maybe our friendship wasn't as genuine as I thought. I can't change who I am or my financial situation, and I shouldn't have to in order to keep a friend. Janice, I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm just scared of losing everything I've worked for. Sadie, I understand that you have your own fears and pressures, but true friendship should be able to weather any storm. It's about supporting each other through thick and thin, not abandoning someone when they face challenges. I never wanted it to come to this. Maybe, maybe I need some time to think. I don't want to lose our friendship completely. What? How rude. Leaving. This is so embarrassing. I can't believe she did that. All this time, she was just with me because I had money? Ugh. At home. Great, now I'm back home. Hey, sweetie. Not now, Dad. Anyways, I got some job applications in case you want to get a job. No way, Dad. I don't want a job. I know that's why I said in case. Learn how to listen. Excuse you? Excuse me what? I'm your dad. You better show respect to me from now on. 
Now go clean your room. It's a mess. Why? We have the maids. I told them not to clean your room anymore. I'm sure you can do it by yourself. That's unfair, Dad. They clean your room. No, they don't. Your mom and I clean it. Ugh. Clean your room. I'm not going to work and I'm not touching any of my stuff. That task. Did my dad have to do something with it? Why is he doing this to me? Anyway, I think I'm going to have to get a job, but I can't let dad find out about it. An hour later. I filled the Starbucks job application. I love Starbucks so, I hope I get paid a lot. A few minutes later. Okay, I'm here. I hope I get the job. Done. Now I have to wait to called. At home. I'm taking away your car. What? You heard me. But dad. I'm sorry, but if you have a car, that means I have to pay for the gasoline. Dad don't please. I really need my car more than anything. And why is that? Ugh, well, I applied for a job at Starbucks, and I need something that can take me there. Fine, you can keep it, but once you get paid, you start paying for your gas. Dad, please reconsider. Taking away my car would make it extremely difficult for me to manage my daily activities. I understand that, Janice, but the cost of gasoline is becoming a burden for me. I have been covering the expenses for a while now, and it's time for you to take responsibility. Dad, I appreciate everything you've done for me, but this job opportunity at Starbucks is crucial for me. It's not just about the transportation, it's about gaining independence and learning the value of earning my own money. All right, Janice. I can see how important this is to you. I'll allow you to keep the car for now, but once you start receiving a paycheck, you will be responsible for your own gas expenses. Thank you, Dad. I promise I won't let you down. I'll find ways to manage my finances and contribute towards the gas costs as soon as I can. I'm glad you understand, Janice. It's essential to learn financial responsibility, and this will be a valuable lesson for you. Just make sure you keep up with your job and fulfill your responsibilities. Absolutely, Dad. I won't take this opportunity for granted. I'll work hard and make sure my job doesn't interfere with my other commitments. That's my girl. I believe in you, Janice. Remember, this is a stepping stone towards your independence and growth. I'm proud of you for taking this initiative. Thank you, Dad. Your support means the world to me. I'll make you proud and prove that I can handle both my job and my responsibilities at home. I have no doubt about that, Janice. Just remember to strike a balance and prioritize your commitments wisely. I wish you all the success in your new job. Okay, Dad, this is kind of starting to work. Two days later. Oh my God. I'm so... Wait, I got a notification. I got the job. Oh my God, yes. Wait, what? They want me to start today at 1 p.m.? Ugh, fine. At 12.55. Okay, I'm here. Are you the new girl? Yes. Okay, my name is Jaden, but you can call me Jay. I'm Janice. Cool, I'm the manager, and we will pay you $12.85 the hour. Is that okay? I thought it would be like $25. Yes, that's okay. All right, I'm going to introduce you to Jason. I'm okay. Jason. Oh my, he's so hot. Janice, Jason is going to teach you everything you need to learn. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sure, will do. Thank you. Okay, so I'm Jason, and I'll teach you how to make the drinks and... Yeah. Okay, haha. A few hours later. I want to know why you're here. I'm working, like everyone else? Yeah, but I know you. You're the daughter of a millionaire CEO. So? That doesn't mean I can't have a job. 
Well, yeah, but usually rich girls get everything from their parents. It's sometimes weird to see a girl like you doing this type of stuff. Oh well, I guess. I'm sorry if I offended you. No, it's okay. You're actually right. I am one of those types of girls. I'm sorry. You're also very beautiful, and I was wondering if I could get your number. Sure. At home. I met such a fine guy. He's just so hot. Really? Where? At work. Oh, did you get his number? He asked for mine. Oh, well, that's good, sweetie. I hope he isn't like your last boyfriend. Such an egocentric guy. Mom, please don't. I've told you many times how much I regret dating him. Plus, who said he's going to be my boyfriend? He's just a friend, I guess. Whatever you say. Yeah, seriously, Mom. I'm just getting to know him better. Let's not jump to conclusions. All right, sweetie. I trust you to make the right decisions. Just remember to take your time and be cautious. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate your support. I really hope this turns out to be something good. Of course, honey. I want nothing but happiness for you. You deserve someone who treats you with love and respect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I've learned my lesson from the past. I won't settle for anything less. I'm glad to hear that, Janice. Always prioritize your own happiness and well-being. And don't forget to trust your instincts. Absolutely, Mom. I've come a long way, and I've learned to trust myself. I won't let anyone mistreat me again. That's my girl. Remember, a healthy relationship is built on mutual trust, understanding, and support. You're right, Mom. I won't rush into anything. I'll take the time to get to know him better and see if we're compatible. That sounds like a wise approach, Janice. Just remember, communication is key. Make sure you express your needs and expectations clearly. I will, Mom. I've learned to be open and honest about my feelings. It's important to have those conversations early on. You've grown into a strong and wise woman, Janice. I'm proud of you. Just remember, I'm here for you no matter what. Thank you, Mom. Your love and support mean the world to me. I'll keep you updated on how things progress with this guy. I'll be eagerly waiting to hear all about it, sweetie. Take care and enjoy getting to know him. Mom stop. Also, what happened to Sadie? Oh. She said we couldn't be friends because I'm poor now. Ugh, what a fake girl. I know, right? Oh, another notification. Who is this? Um, hi. Who is this? Oh, hey, it's me, Jason, from work. Oh, hey. Hey, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out. I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to work tomorrow at 6 a.m. That's fine. Can we hang out tomorrow afternoon? Sure, then. All right, good night. Sleep well. You too. Good night. Oh my god, I'm going to hang out with him. He's so hot. I hope his personality is as good as his looks. I'm going to sleep now. What? Oh my god, of course. One million has been added to your account. I no longer have to work. Wait, but I actually like my job. I'm going to tell Jason about this. At work. Jason. Oh, hey, Janice. Jason, I got one million dollars, and I don't know what to do with them. How did you get all that? Your dad. I got a random thing asking if I wanted one million dollars, and I said yes. I would stop working if I were you ha. Huh? I love my job. I'm not quitting. Maybe you can buy something and make money out of it. Wait after work, that's actually a great idea. What should I do? I want to prove my dad that I'm not just a money waster. 
Hmm, maybe I can buy apartments or... I don't know. Apartments? That's a good idea. Yeah, investing in apartments could be a great way to show your dad that you're responsible with money. Plus, it can be a smart long-term investment. I've never thought about investing in real estate before. How does it work? Well, buying apartments as an investment involves purchasing properties with the intention of generating income through rent or potential appreciation in value over time. You can earn rental income from tenants while also building equity in the property. That sounds interesting. But I'm not sure if I have enough money to invest in apartments. Don't worry, there are different options available. You can consider starting small by purchasing a single apartment unit or partnering with others to pool your resources. Additionally, there are financing options such as mortgages that can help you cover the initial purchase. That's true. I'll need to research more about the real estate market and potential locations for buying apartments. Definitely. It's important to analyze market trends, evaluate potential rental income, and consider factors like location, amenities, and future development in the area. It's also a good idea to consult with professionals such as real estate agents or property managers who can provide valuable insights. I'll make sure to gather all the necessary information and seek expert advice. I really want to prove to my dad that I can make smart financial decisions. I believe in you, Janice. Investing in apartments can not only showcase your financial responsibility but also open up opportunities for long-term wealth accumulation. Just make sure to approach it with careful planning and due diligence. Thank you, Jason. Your support means a lot to me. I'll do my best to learn everything I can about investing in apartments and make a well-informed decision. You're welcome, Janice. I'm here for you every step of the way. Remember, investing is a journey, and it's important to be patient and take calculated risks. I have no doubt you'll succeed in proving your dad wrong and securing a bright financial future for yourself. At home, I'm going to buy apartments. Excuse me, don't you dare use my credit card. You think money grows on trees? You don't even know what hard work is. Can you stop, Dad? I've had enough. You act like being spoiled is my fault. When it's clearly yours, you're the one that made me spoiled. It's not my fault you never said no to me. But guess what? I'm not going to use your money. I'm going to use the one million dollars I got, and I'm buying the apartments so I can earn more money. I hope you're proud of me. A few later. I'm so tired of my dad. He's always blaming me for being spoiled, like if it was my fault. I'm sorry, Janice. Don't listen to your dad. He knows he's wrong. But also, how did you get that one million dollars? I'm still confused. It's kind of weird. It was a random notification. Don't you think it's a scam? Well, the money went directly to my account. It's mine now, so I don't know. What if it was your dad? I don't think so. She wants to use the money to buy apartments. Are you serious? I thought she would go straight to Gucci. Same, but well, it seems like she's using her brain for once. Hey, don't be so mean. Should we let her keep her one million? If you want to. I will. Well, my family really appreciates everything. We just don't have a lot of money. I'm sorry to hear that, Jason. In these past few days, I've noticed how lucky I am to have everything, and I don't deserve it because I've always been so bratty. All the expensive bags I have, I think I'm going to sell them. I waste money on things I don't need. 100 bags and only use one. A few months later, I finally sold my bags. I can finally donate the money to charity. Hey, sweetie. Hey, guys. What's up? I wanted to tell you that the one million you got was from me. What? But don't worry, honey. I gave you that money to see if you would do the right thing, and you did. And everything about being poor was a setup. I wanted you to experience what the real world is. Thank you, Dad. 
I don't understand what you're saying, but thank you. I'll explain it to you later. Right now, we have another surprise. Hey, Janice. Hey, Jason. So, Janice, I was wondering, would you pretty please be my girlfriend? Say yes, girl. Well, well, of course. That's great. I've been waiting to ask you for a while now. Really? I had no idea. Yeah, I was nervous about how you would react, but I'm really glad you said yes. I'm glad too, Jason. You're a great guy, and I've enjoyed spending time with you. You two make a lovely couple. Congratulations, both of you. I'm happy for you, Janice. Thank you, Dad. This is quite a surprise. First the money, now this. Well, life is full of surprises, and I wanted to make these moments special for you. Now, let's celebrate. We can have a nice family dinner to commemorate this day. Sounds like a plan. I'm excited to be a part of this family celebration. Me too, Jason. I'm grateful for everything that has happened today. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, but I wouldn't change a thing. That's the spirit, Janice. Life is about embracing the unexpected and making the most of every opportunity. You're right, Dad. I've learned that lesson today, and I'm ready for whatever comes next. Let's make some wonderful memories together as a family. And so, they all gathered around, ready to celebrate the new chapter in Janice's life. The surprises and challenges had brought them closer, and they were eager to embark on this journey together. Story 2 How was your today, honey? Um... Fine, Mom. I feel so happy, ha. Huh? Actually, I lied. Oh, that's good. I hope that you can be sociable with friends at school. Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's eat dinner. Okay, Mom, I'm coming. After me. Mom, can you help me wash the dishes, please? I'm so tired right now, maybe I need to rest. Okay, okay, don't worry, just go to the restroom. Thanks, Mom. Chloe went upstairs to her room. Hayes, I almost cried in front of my mom. That's so embarrassed. I'm feeling very confused and I need someone to talk to. There's a game called Roblox on my phone, it looks interesting. I should give it a try. Download Roblox. Create a username. Hmm, okay, I'll set the nickname is Chloe.SoSad. System, your account has been successfully registered. Alright, let's explore the game for a bit. Join me, city. Hi. Oh, hi. Can I get to know you? Of course. What's your name? I'm Chloe, and you? I'm Nicole. Would you like to join our GC? Sure, I'd love to make new friends. Chloe.Sauset is added to the group chat. Hello everyone, I'm a newbie here. Uh, not again. Oh, look who he brought along. OMG, it's a girl. Here we go again with the teasing. Let's introduce ourselves guys. Start with our new friend here. That's right. Exactly. You go first, Chloe. Um, yeah, okay. I'm Chloe, 15 years old. I'm Nicole, 15 years old. And I'm Selena, 15 years old. In case you didn't know, I'm Nick, 16 years old, and I'm the hot boy in Roblox. Finally, it's my turn. I'm Ben, 13 years old, and I'm the youngest in this group. Oh, how did you all meet each other? Thanks to Roblox, we got to know each other through Roblox. To celebrate your appearance in this group chat, we'll each donate 5k Robux to you for a new outfit. Everyone sent Chloe 5k Robux. Oh my gosh, thank you all so much. Go and change your outfit quickly. Okay, I'll be back soon. Five minutes later. What do you guys think? Ugh normal. So cute. Looks pretty. You look amazing, Chloe.
Chloe. Thanks, guys. By the way, I just noticed why did you choose the nickname Chloe so sad? Yeah, why? Is there something going on? Well, I'll tell you all about it. Well, actually, I've been feeling quite depressed. I used to be an outgoing, cheerful, and friendly person. Then one day, I developed feelings for a senior named Nikki who was a member of the school basketball team. Oh, he has the same name as me. I was really impressed by how he played basketball. Then one day, our class decided to play a game of truth or dare. And then what happened next? Please, tell me quickly. I'm so curious. Yes, continue the story. Hmm, it was my turn, and I chose the truth. They asked me who I had a crush on, so I told them the truth. And you can probably guess what happened next. In the next round, I got dared to confess my feelings to him on the basketball court. OMG, this is getting interesting lol. So, I decided to prepare a small gift, a few chocolate bars, and a note for him. On that fateful day, I was feeling nervous and anxious as I prepared to confess. But to my surprise, he just threw the gift away. Oh my gosh, what a jerk. He's really so terrible. He threw the gift on the ground, in front of everyone, and made fun of me, saying that I wasn't worthy of his attention. Not only that, my best friend, the person I trusted the most, spread rumors about me everywhere. That's so cruel. They said that a normal girl like me shouldn't even dare to dream about someone as perfect as him. On that day, they recorded a video and uploaded it everywhere. Some people body shamed me, while others cursed at me and my family. My friends turned their backs on me and stopped playing with me. I became their number one target for bullying. Every time I think about it, I just want to cry. Since then, I've been all alone. When I was being bullied, there was no one to reach out and help me. I've thought about suicide so many times, I think ending my life will help me feel more at peace. But then I thought about my family, how would they react if I shared these thoughts? I try to push through each day, reminding myself that I will overcome it. I don't know how long I can hold on, but I'm determined to make this life worth it. Oh come on, are you seeking pity from everyone? What kind of an attitude is that, Selena? If you can't say something kind, then just shut the fuck up. Uh, whatever. Chloe, we're really sorry that you had such an unpleasant experience. Yeah, maybe we can't do much to help, but if you need someone to talk to, just message us. Oh yeah, the fact that you guys listen to me already means a lot to me. That's what friends should do. Exactly. So, shall we play Dahood now? It's so funny. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go then. Sorry. But can I chat privately with Selena? You guys can continue playing. Oh, okay, then we'll go ahead. Okay. What's up? Is there something wrong? I want to tell you something. That rude guy that Chloe mentioned, it's actually me. What the fuck? What are you saying? Yes, it's me. My real name is Nikki, and in the game, I go by Nick. I can't believe I encountered her here. Do you know what we should do now? What should we do? Let's play with her emotions and tease her. I want to test her limit. No offense, but don't you think that's a bit exaggerated? You're such a fucking bad boy, you know? What's wrong, I'm not the one getting hurt. The girls keep clinging to me because they volunteered, I didn't force them. Moreover, I did it to make her realize that sincerity doesn't always exchange for sincerity lol. Uh, it's up to you, it's not my concern anyway. Okay, let's go play with them. Selena and Nick joined the hood. Hey guys, we're back, let's go together. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. They played the hood for two hours. Guys, it's midnight now. I think we should go to bed and continue playing tomorrow. That's right, we still have to go to school tomorrow. Alright, let's go to sleep then. 
Good night, everyone. Bye. Wishing Chloe a beautiful dream winks. He just winked at me, no thinking random thoughts, let's go to sleep. The next day. Wake up, my daughter, it's time to go to school. What time is it, mom? Get up quickly, it's almost 7 in the morning. Oh my gosh, why didn't you wake me up earlier, I'm gonna be late for school. Chloe gets out of bed, looks at the clock. Mom, it's only 6.30 in the morning. Why did you lie? If I didn't say that, you probably wouldn't have gotten up. Hurry up and come down, I has finished preparing breakfast. Okay, Mom, I'm getting ready. After breakfast. I'm done eating, Mom. I'm off to school. Hey honey, I have something to tell you. Yes, Mom. I know it's been tough for you lately. But you have to know that you always have your mom and dad by your side. No matter how grown up you become, you will always be my little child, remember? Yes, Mom, I love you. No, don't cry. Don't let me see you weak. Loves you too. All right, have a great time at school. See you in the afternoon. Bye, Mom. At school. Today, I arrived earlier than usual. There's the girl who confessed to hot boy Nikki in school. How did she even muster the courage to do that? Don't you see how shameless she is? If it were me, I would have skipped school by now. That's just ridiculous. They're starting again. I have to hurry into the classroom. Chloe runs quickly down the hallway. Chloe trips over someone's foot. Hey, 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 hey. An arm reaches out to help Chloe up, but as she's getting up, the person suddenly lets go. Hey, 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 hey. It hurts. Everyone around me. <laughs> Do you know how excessive you are? So what? OMG, it's Nikki. Why would he do that to me? You, you, you have to apologize to me. There's no enmity between me and you. Do you have to have animosity to do that? Oh my gosh, look at that. She dares to make Nikki apologize. Is she fucking crazy, huh? How dare you, bitch? Today I will teach you a lesson. Leave me out. Help. Anyone helps me PLSS. I'm gonna die. What are those kids doing? Can you quickly disperse and return to the classroom? I send you to see the principal now. Hurry and run, the teacher is coming. You're lucky this time, but there won't be a next time. Are you okay? Thank you, I'm fine. I just want to get out of school so I can go home quickly. After class, at Chloe's house. Mom, I'm done cleaning, I'm gonna my room. Okay, honey. Remember to go to bed early. I know, Mom. Chloe joins Roblox. Hi guys, is anyone online? Hello. Ugh, just when I need someone to talk to. Oh, hi Chloe. Why are you the only one here? Where is everyone else? I'm not sure either. Maybe it's time. Hey Chloe, I wanna tell you something. Yeah. Since yesterday, I've been thinking, why would someone as lovely as you end up with someone terrible? Listen, it's not that you're not deserving of them, but rather they're not deserving of you. Being confident and learning to love yourself is the first step towards happiness. Furthermore, if you don't mind, I would really like to be your BF. I wanna take care of you, to be there for you every day, to make up for the difficult times you've gone through. Do you agree? Oh my god, he's so sincere. I think I've fallen for him. Well, would you like to see my face first? Who knows, you might change your mind. Sure. What do you think? Oh Chloe, I have to say, I've never met a girl as beautiful as you. You've captivated me from the first glance. Are you being honest? I've never lied about anything. It would be amazing if I could be your BF. I... I agree. Yes, that's fantastic. Stupid girl. So, do you want us to go on a date tomorrow? Of course, that would be great. 
Okay, let's meet at Pinky Mall at 7 p.m. then. Absolutely. Now, let's play Murder Mystery 2. Okay. After 30 minutes. I think I have to go to bed now. Goodbye, my love. You too, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. The next day, at the meeting point. Why is he taking so long? It's been over five minutes. Hey. Hi. What? Nikki? What are you doing here? Why are you acting surprised? Like you're the only one here. Hey, love, who is this? It's nothing, just someone who confessed their feelings to me and got rejected, uh. -huh. You, you. Oops. Didn't know someone already had a boyfriend and was still flirting. Come on, babe, look at how well-dressed she is. She's probably on a date. Let me guess, you're waiting for your friend Nick in Roblox, right? How did you know? Well, just curious to know how I knew. Because I am Nick, that's why. Oh my goodness, what did you just say? Someone like you only gets an ending like that, don't expect anything more. Reality is not like a game. Is there something wrong, dear? Nothing. Haha, ha, have a fun date, girl. I'm out, peace. Bye. I can't believe it. Why am I humiliated by the person I like not once, but twice? This is unacceptable. Chloe runs home with tears in her eyes. Mom, where are you? What's wrong, sweetheart? Who made my little girl cry? Mom, who who I? I. I don't want to go to school anymore. I met someone online, and it turns out it's Nikki. He played with my feelings, and I can't stand him anymore. I don't want to see him in my life. He humiliated me in front of so many people multiple times. Oh, my dear, I'm so sorry. I didn't know about all of this. How about this, let's change schools. We'll start a new life. What do you think? Mom, please do that. I want to go to a place far away from here, I don't want to meet anyone here anymore. That night, Chloe logged into Roblox for the last time. It seems like everyone is still offline. Hello, everyone. This might be my last message before I log out. Thank you all for being there to chat with me during this time. But it seems that it's not enough as my old emotional wounds haven't healed and have been overshadowed by new ones. Nick is the main character in the story I've told, and he even played with my feelings right after hearing those stories. I know the whole truth about him, that he has never been serious with anyone. I hope his karma catches up to him soon. To the remaining people, you are not at fault. If there's anyone to blame, it's Nick for being so cheat and fake that no one could see his true nature. I've said enough, goodbye everyone. If it's meant to be, we will meet again. Chloe left the GC. Hey everyone, it's time to play. What? What the fuck is going on here? OMG, guys, read this quickly. After everyone reads Chloe's message. I can't believe Nick is that terrible. I don't want to be friends with him anymore. Yeah, me too. Let's kick him out of the group chat. Nick has been kicked out of the group. It's too late to apologize to Chloe now. I hope she's okay. Yeah, same. Afterward, Chloe decides to transfer schools and start a new life. As for Nick, after the truth about him is exposed, he is despised and avoided by everyone. That's the price he deserves to pay. Nicole and his friends continue to live happily and enjoy together. The end. Story 3 Hey bestie. Rep me right now. I have something to ask you. Hi Leah, what's what? Can I add someone into the group chat? Who? Oh my brother. He's on a break so he wants to find something to relieve the pressure. I told him to play Roblox with me. Oh. Can I add him? Please Daphne. Oh yeah, you can add him. Yeah thank you Leah. Leah add Jungkook in the group chat. Oh hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, in mine. His voice sounds so familiar. I think I heard it somewhere. Hi. 
My name is Jungkook. I'm 25 years old. Oh, hello. My name is Daphne. I'm 18 years old. You know what, Daphne? Hmm. What is that? My brother is. Hey, Leah. Stop it and private chat with me right now. Oh, okay, brother. What's the matter with them? In private chat. What's wrong, brother? You mustn't reveal who I am to everyone, especially that Daphne girl. Why? Is there a problem with her? Yes. If she and a crazy fan, and she knows who I am, we'll be in trouble. She won't do that. How do you know? You just met her through the game one year ago. Anything is possible, Lia. Looks like the past events didn't make you realize it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I will keep this a secret. You should be like that. Now go back to the group chat right now, if no she'll get suspicious. Okay. In the group chat. Hi Daphne. Are you done talking? I've been waiting so long. What did you guys talk about? Um nothing. Really? I see you have a strange expression. And oh, I'm fine. You. You are so noisy. This is my private business, why are you asking so carefully? It's not something you can interfere with. Oh I, am so sorry. I'm just kidding. Maybe I'll leave until you guys are done talking. Bye everyone, I'll be back in a while. Wait Dap. She finally left, she was so noisy. Why are you being so rude to her? She's my best friend, go apologize to her. Otherwise I won't play with you anymore. What? Why should I apologize to her? She is the one in the wrong. She is too annoying. I have never met a girl as annoying as her. I don't know. You are a man and you raise your voice to a girl. So you're wrong. Go apologize to her. I'm leaving. If you don't apologize then don't talk to me. What? Fuck. Why did everything turn out like this? Apologize to her? Where can I find her to apologize to? Oh, she's playing the mimic. I'll join her. In the mimic. Um. Where's she? Looks like she's over there. I have to get close. Hey, girl. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Girl. Oh, you call me? Yes. Who else but you? It's just the two of us here. My name is not girl. My name is Daphne. Whatever. Why do you call me? Hurry up. I don't have time. Ha. Huh. You act like I want to talk to you. Then get out of here. We have nothing to say to each other. No, I have something to tell you. What's that? I'm sorry about earlier. It was rude of me to say that to you. Please forgive me. What the fuck? What's wrong with you? Are you sick? No, I'm being very serious. So will you forgive me? Oh, I would consider. So can we get out of here first? Why, I'm about to start playing it already. It looks scary and dark here. Are you afraid? Oh no. How can this nonsense scare me? Then I'll forgive you on one condition. What is that? You must play this game with me. What? No way. This game is too childish. I don't want to play. You're scared, so you don't dare to play this game. Ah ha ha ha. Who's afraid? Okay, let's play, who's afraid of who? Ha 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 okay, this is your choice, then don't cry. Okay, start right now. Okay good luck. In the game. Young Cook. Hey, where are you? I, I'm here. Oh my god, why are you hiding behind that wall? And knowing. Uh huh. In mind, I'll scare you a bit to get revenge on them for teasing me. Young Cook. Young Cook. What's wrong? There seems to be something behind you, it is approaching you. What? Really? Do not lie to me. Yeah, it's true, it's getting closer and closer to you. Ah. Hug Daphne. Chase it away, I don't want to see it, I beg you Daphne. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding, you really are a coward. Are you kidding me? Why are you doing that? Do you know me, looks Daphne I. Ha ha ha, I didn't mean it. Daphne. Ha uh, what? Has anyone told you that your eyes are beautiful, Daphne? Ha uh, what? Shy. What are you talking about? No kidding. In mind, why is my heart beating so fast? I'm telling the truth. 
pushes he. Haha <laughs> okay thanks you, I'll forgive you. Now let's go back to GC, I think Leah has waited too long. Wait. God, why is my heart beating so fast, there must be a problem, when should I go to the doctor? But, Jungkook he's so handsome and cute. Daphne, don't be like that. He's your best friend's brother, you mustn't have intentions with him. Wake up. Things are getting more and more complicated. In the group chat. Did you apologize to her? Yeah, of course. What the fuck are you thinking? I'm not that person. Whatever. Daphne joined group chat. Oh, hi, Daphne. Hi, Leah. Have you two forgiven each other? Yay. Why don't you believe me? Right, Daphne? Yes. I forgave him when he apologized to me. It's okay. If two people get mad at each other, I don't know who to play with. Ha ha ha. So do you guys want to play a game? Yeah, of cow. Sorry, I have to go now. Happy two players. Where are you going? Preparing for a concert? Yes. I forgave him when he apologized to me. When the show is over, I'll be back. Oh yeah. Can I go there? Of course. I'll send you tickets, bring your parents and friends too. Yee. So here you go. There are many more things to prepare, or it will be too late. Bye guys. Bye. The show will go well. Haha <laughs> thank you. In mind, what are they talking about? Performing? Concerts? Is he a singer? Daphne, what are you thinking? Leah, please tell me what your brother does. He's just an ordinary office worker. Do not lie to me. From the conversation between the two of you just now, I can tell that he's not that simple. Um, I cannot speak. That's my brother's taboo. Why? Wow. I also had a close friend who played through games like you before, and I told her the truth about my brother. But she took advantage of me to know his home address and stopped him. Is she a pervert? How can you do that? Yee, not only that, she also bribed the security guard to get the key to my brother's apartment, and she intended to kidnap him, but fortunately my brother discovered it in time, and reported it to the police. Oh my god it's dangerous for her to catch him. Yes, that haunted my brother, and since then I have not revealed his true identity to anyone else. If it were me, I would fear that too. But I'm still curious who is he, he seems to be very popular. Ah. Uh. I won't hurt him. You played with me for one year and you know what kind of person I am. Hayes can't hide you forever, I'll tell you the truth. But you promise not to tell anyone else. Okay, I promise. Do you know the globally famous group BTS? I know them, my friends and my sister are all their fans. Are you a fan of them too? No, I'm a fan of EXO. Me too. Coincidentally. Haha, <laughs> but what does BTS have to do with this? My brother is one of the members of BTS, the Macni Jungkook. What the fuck? Really? No way? No, it's true. You mean this per- Yee he is. Oh that's unbelievable. One day I can talk to such a celebrity. Haha <laughs> you are so funny Daphne. I love his singing and dancing. Would you like to hear them? Really? I can? But how? Did my brother just give me the concert tickets for tomorrow? Do you want to go with me? Oh my god yes I love it. See you all tomorrow at 7 a.m. at the concert gate. I'll lead you inside. Okay, okay. In the morning. At the concert gate. It's true that their popularity is no joke. There are so many fans here. How can I find Leah? Daphne. Hey. I'm here. Hi Leah, nice to see you. I'm afraid I'll get lost in this place. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, follow me. Okay. That's my brother, let's go there again. Oh okay. Hey brother. I'm here. Why is she here? I told her everything. She sympathizes with you. Don't worry she won't hurt you. Really? Then I can rest assured, you two wait a moment, I will ask someone to arrange seats for everyone. Thanks you brother. Enjoy the show, Daphne. In my, oh my god on the outside is so handsome. My heart is already in love with him. What should I do? We've got room Daphne, first row, let's go. Okay. 20 minutes later. Look, Daphne, the show's on. I know Leah, it's more epic than I imagined, it's the class of a global group. Ha ha ha, my brother is handsome right? There are many beautiful girls who want to date me, but my brother still doesn't like anyone. Yes he is very handsome. In mind, seeing him on stage giving off a bright aura makes me feel like I don't deserve it. In mind, I'm just an ordinary girl who got to know him by being friends with his sister, I'm not pretty normal. 
In mind, maybe I'll give up on this emotional part. Just watch it happen. Daphne, my brother texted me that we should wait for him after the show. But I have work to do, I have to go. See you on Roblox, Leah. Sorry for leaving so early. Do you have a job? It's a pity. So you go home, be careful on the road. Thanks you Leah. Congratulations and thank you Young Cook for me. Oh okay. Bye bye. Bye. After the show ended, Leah met Jungkook. Congratulations on completing your concert. Ha 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 thanks you Leah. But where's Daphne gone? Didn't I text you to tell her to meet her after the show? You didn't tell her. No, I told her, but she said she's busy so go back first, see you in the game. She even thanked you and congratulated you on finishing his concert. In mind, I feel like she's avoiding me. Let's go home now, I have something to tell her. Oh okay. In Roblox. Hey Daphne. Reply me right now. I have something to tell you. What's up? I think you need to rest after that concert. No, you're more important than that. So what do you want to talk to me about? Are you avoiding me? Why so? No, I am not. Don't lie, tell me what you think. Can you not avoid me anymore? Why do you want to know? Don't you hate me? No, I don't hate you, on the contrary, I like you very much. What? You like me? Looks like I'm still dreaming. No, this is the truth, I've liked you for a long time, I was going to confess to you today after the concert, but you ran away. But we're not on the same level, you're a shining star, I'm just an ordinary person, one of millions of your fans. We can't be together. Why not? As long as you love me and I love you, everything will be solved, okay? I haven't met anyone who makes me feel this way but you. Agree to be my girlfriend, Daphna. I agree but with one condition. Really? As long as you agree, I will meet you for anything. We have to keep this a secret even from Leah. Why? I want everyone to know you're my girlfriend. This is not the right time young cook. When things get better, can we make it public? Ugh, okay, listen to you. So you're my girlfriend now, right? Yes, and you are my boyfriend. Hug Daphne. I'm so happy babe. Haha ha, me too. Two years after they were together. Young Coop just posted a new photo. He's at the beach. You're so handsome. That's right. Someone like him deserves 10 lovers. Oh my gosh. Don't you know? He's already a flower owner. Where did you hear that? It's not possible. Rumors broke out this morning that he was going to the beach with that girlfriend. And that girlfriend is supposed to be Blackpink Lisa. Oh my gd really. They have been rumored for a long time. Rumor has it that they live in the same house and are married. Maybe they're actually dating. If that's the case then I'll be happy for him, as long as he's happy I'm happy too. Me too. With Daphne. What? Why is the picture of the two of them posted at the same time and place? He said he went on a business trip abroad. Maybe he lied to me. No, I have to believe him, maybe they both have jobs in the same place. Oh, someone texted me. But it's a strange number. What? This is a picture of young Cook and Lisa? Why did she and him go to the hotel together? No, I have to ask him, he will explain it to me. Calls young Cook. Hello babe. Have you had dinner? Young Cook, how do you explain the rumor this morning? I need an explanation. She and I have the same job there. Don't think much babe. So what about this photo? Why did you and her go to that place? Sends a photo to Young Cook. This. Me and her have work to do in it, but unlike you think, we're just friends. Things to do? What do you do in the hotel? I can't tell you now, but I promise I won't betray you. You didn't betray me? What are you playing? Did you make a joke of me? I'm too stupid to love a flower digger like you. Break up. No duh. He's such a bad guy. Why do I love him? It's so bad. I should have ended with him from the beginning, so it wouldn't lead to the consequences like now. Hoo hoo hoo. Two days later. In mind, it's, it's been two days and he hasn't contacted me. He really is a bad guy. Daphne. After arriving at the hotel, let's check in the room. Today's outing I'll give you. Be happy, don't be sad. Haha <laughs> thank you Leah. Open room door. I. What? Why are you here? 
In mine, the whole room is full of roses. Agree to marry me, Daphne. What do you mean? That picture was taken of me and her entering this hotel to plan to ask you to marry me, because I wanted to surprise you, I kept it a secret. Forgive me and marry me. Really? I was so disappointed in you, do you know how sad you made me? I'm sorry, but I promise to only make you sad once, and from now on I will make you happy, so marry me. Agree, agree Daphne. Yes 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 I agree, oh my god I'm so happy. Haha <laughs> me too. I'm so happy to marry you baby. But first I has work to do. What is it? You will know soon. Did you just post a new post? What? Have you made us public? Yes. You are my wife, and everyone needs to know it. But. No problem. I will protect you. At the same time, I retire at home with you. No, I want to hear you sing forever. Then I'll sing to you for the rest of my life and we'll be happy forever. Okay, I love you. I love you too. Congratulations me and my parents are about to hold my grandchild aha. The end.